Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the problem C from the latest code forces round 677 problem name dominant piranha. So you can read the problem statement but in simple terms it states that you are given an aquarium and there are n piranhas. One piranha can eat the other piranha if the size of the piranha is less than the size of the current piranha. So if there is one dominant piranha, what a dominant piranha is? The piranha which can eat all the other piranhas except itself obviously the piranha which can eat all the other piranhas so you have to find out the dominant piranha now how you can find out a dominant piranha a dominant piranha is the one which can eat all the other piranhas but it can only start eating so it can only eat the other piranha if the size of that piranha is or the like the strength of that piranha is smaller than the piranha which is the dominant piranha so then only it can eat the other piranha and also it can only eat the adjacent piranha because there is an aquarium they are because they are an aquarium and it is pretty narrow and long so i'll tell you more with the example and you have to find out the dominant piranha there's also one more catch that whenever one piranha eats the other piranha its size increased by one so i'll tell you more with this example as you can see if this is the given uh, like scenario this is the given aquarium then you can say that the third piranha is the dominant piranha why? Because see, if the third piranha eat this piranha, this, this, this on the left, so it can eat, any piranha can eat on the left or its right. Because that's a narrow tube, as you can see, a narrow uh, uh, aquarium. So you can choose that, okay, this piranha is dominant. So first it eats the piranha on the left. So because it can eat, why? Because the size of this piranha is smaller than this. It should be strictly smaller. It cannot be equal. It can only be smaller. So if, as you can see, three is smaller than four, so it can eat this fish. And thus the size of this fish become five because whenever one piranha eats another piranha, its size increases by one. So as you can see, if this four eats this three, its size will become five. So four plus one, five. So now the state is five, five, four, five. So now this piranha can eat this one. So as you can see, now its size becomes six. So now it can eat this one, so it becomes seven, and it can eat one, so that this one eight. So as you can see, the third piranha can eat all the piranhas whenever it like he, it can only eat the left or right one which is current to it but it can keep on doing this so now this is the question itself and now whenever it eat any piranha its size will be increased by so you have to find out what is the dominant piranha and if there is a dominant piranha you have to output its index what is the index of the piranha which is dominant else if there is no dominant piranha you have to output minus one so that's the whole question so the question statement is very tricky you can understand that how you can do this but if you start drawing this problem or you just analyze these are a lot of test cases in the problem you just start to draw these test cases that's why then this problem becomes very easy so now you can easily understand that okay what is the case for minus one the case for minus one is when all of them are equal if all of the fishes are equal then obviously no fish can eat another fish because all of them are equal and thus the answer is minus one so that okay then you get understand okay the first case is whenever all the fishes are equal of weight then no fish can eat itself or like another fish and thus the answer is minus one else if any of the fish has like different weights then it can eat the other fish that's fine but now see every fish has different weights so now what i think during the question is okay so i have some fishes as you can see this is five three four four five three four four five these are the fish weights now if i choose the fish which is the greatest which is the largest size then obviously it can eat all the other fishes if if all the fishes has same size then it cannot eat that fish okay if the all the fishes has same size then it cannot eat that fish if this is four four this cannot eat this fish but it can eat this fish so if you can see if this is five it can eat this so it will become six then it will six four four it can eat this well it will it will become like seven four four seven four five it can eat this it become eight five it can eat this it can nine so this is possible as you can see so this is always possible if i choose the largest one but can i choose the largest one always yes i can choose the largest one but if there are a lot of largest one as you can see if this is the answer is five five four five five Okay, the answer of this is obviously one of those fives, obviously, but which five? You have to find out which five. Obviously, if I choose this five, then this cannot eat this five because these are same. But if I choose this five, it can eat this five and then the size of this becomes six. 
and then it can eat any of those five. It can eat this, it becomes seven, then five, five, then it can eat this, it will move eight, five, and nine. So now you can understand that I, among all of those values, which is the biggest, I have to find out the index in which the fish on the left or the right side should be smaller than it. What I mean by this is, if I have a lot of fish of size, like I knew that the size of them is As you can see, these are the fishes. I know that the maximum size of the piranha is five. Then which piranha should I choose? The one I should choose such that on the left or right of that piranha, the fish should be smaller because that fish can be eaten by this piranha and then it become bigger and then it can eat all the piranhas. So thus I should choose the piranha on which on the left or the either the right side, the fish present should be smaller. I cannot choose this piranha, I cannot choose this, this, but I can choose this piranha. I can also choose this piranha because the for this piranha, the left one is smaller and thus this can become dominant also. This can become dominant. This piranha can become dominant because this one is smaller. This piranha can also become dominant because this one is smaller. So if you just have to find out one fish on which either on the left side or right side, the one, it, the other fish is smaller than the fish, which is the largest size. And that's the whole logic for this problem. So I'll take on to the code part now. So the first thing is you have to find out whether all the fishes are same. How you can find out? Just match the first fish with all the other fishes. Okay. So if I iterate over the for loop from one till n, not from zero till n, I just match with the, all the ith fishes with the zeroth fish, which means that if the first fish is equal to all the other fishes, it means that all the fishes are same. If all the fishes are same, I'll put minus one that, that, that the answer is no. Or else find out the maximum fish, maximum among all the fishes which we are, we are given and then iterate over from left to right and check that whether the ith fish I have seen is equal to the maximum. If the ith fish I have seen equal to maximum, then check to its left, which is inbound. Also check that the left fish should be inbound because if there is zero, then I should check minus one, which is out of bound. So I should not take that fish. So if minus one, that fish is inbound and AI minus one is smaller than the current fish, then the answer is just that fish because I'm doing zero indexing, I'm adding one to it. Also, I can check to the right of it. So I plus one if it's inbound, and the i plus one fish is the smaller than the current fish. And also the answer is i plus one. I should find out the first i th which is equal to maximum and either the left or right fish is smaller than the current fish. I hope you get, get the intuition of this problem. If you still have not mentioned now, I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.